Underage party at an upscale home in Forest Ranch turned violent. And now the homeowners who weren't at the party are facing legal problems. 10 News reporter Michael Chen has the lawsuit claiming that they're liable for one teenager's life-altering injury. A blur of booze and then blood in the backyard of this $2.5 million home where the life of one teenager changed in a split second. I instantly dropped to the ground and I get in a fetal position. Austin Guidry Lair says before that happened, a lively June party, some 50 seniors from Torrey Pines High. Guidry Lair says he had several beers when the 18-year-old host asked him to approach a party crasher, a known troublemaker, and his group of friends and ask them to leave. He says when he did, the other teen took a swing at him, leading to a brief scuffle before the two were separated and the group left. Soon after, deputies appeared after someone called in a noise complaint. As the deputies arrived, the teens scattered, and as Guidry Lair got to the bottom of the driveway, he said he heard his name and turned his head. All of a second, boom, I just get hit across the face with a bottle. He suffered severe eye damage and is now legally blind in his left eye. Guidry Lair just filed suit against the other teen and the 18-year-old party host, along with his parents, even though we've learned they were at a movie. Prior parties before, they were always okay with uh, kids drinking and stuff, and they were just more concerned about if your guys are going to do that, make sure that you have a designated driver. In the past several years, we've seen several cases of parents facing social host charges accused of hosting underage parties. The parents at this home are not facing any charges, but Guidry Lair's attorney says they can still be held liable. The law says, no, parents, you're, you're going to be at fault if you knew or should have known what was going on. And they set an example that said, go ahead and use our house as a party location, and that is against the law. Michael Chen, 10 News. Prosecutors declined to file criminal charges against the other teenager, and they didn't say why. Because no one has been charged in this incident, we chose not to identify the parties in the case.